Hello Internet and welcome to Robot C for Dummies. In today's video, I'll be covering some brief introduction on how to set up your motors for your VEX robot and also configure your joystick so you could use it as a remote control to control your robot during the VEX competition. So without ado, let's jump into Robot C and once when you open Robot C, make sure to click um, new file and save this under a f under a name for your uh, file so just remember to save it as say um, let's just make this as a motor demo so I set this as a motor demo and now um, I'm gonna show you guys how to do the motor setup so for those of you who might have not even touched um, our you know learned about robot C you just have to go to this tab over here which says motor and center sensor setup so just click on that and then you could see that there's just tabs over here motors analog sensors digital sensors and so on so under here for motors you could set um, say for example for here you would see it from ports 1 to 10 and in one of my previous videos um, if you check out my playlist one of my previous videos I showed on how you could um, use these ports and even if you have uh, not seen that I can show this here so if, um, for those of you who might have a cortex a cortex looks something like this and if I scroll this down you could see that from ports 1 to 10 you can you can connect your motors over here and under here I preferably like to set my motors from 2 to 9 because you know there are 3 pin and you can connect the motor controllers to here uh, that is connected to the motor so I, I'm pretty sure once when most of you um, start on the VEX competition you would learn that um, you have to connect the motor controller to the motors in order to um, use them and you would not really prefer to use port 1 to 10 so for this case um, let's just set for port 2 let me set this as a left motor so let's just set, let, let's set this as left motor and let's set this as the right motor and once when you have named your motors for port 2 and 3 remember to set them for 393 motors or even if you have a 269 motor set it as whatever type of motor that you have sorry is i'm gonna use it as a 393 motor and also uh for those of you who have this like say for a chassis um most of you would prefer it to have an encoder attached to it and um, in that case you could set this as an encoder port as well so what do I mean is if you say, if, let's just say you have a chassis that is somewhat like this and you have a you have an encoder that's connected in between the motor and the wheel you could also set that encoder port over here say for example digital one two and three and so on and you could also set those digital sensors over here so what do i mean is if i say for example digital one and i have attached a shaft encoder so for some of you who might be thinking oh you know it, this thing has set me as a quadrature encoder so what is a quadrature encoder where well it is actually this this baby over here so if you if i look at this so this is the this is the shaft encoder that i'm referring to you have a you have uh, two wires coming out from it and this would be the top wire this would be the bottom wire so you would connect it to um you would connect it to digital one and two the top wire and the bottom here and and i'll make a video based on this but before and so just that is just the surface introduction on how you would um, set, uh, configure your encoder to that but let's not get deep into that Le my uh, purpose is to show how you could set the motors here so once and you have set the left and right motors and you have set those click apply click ok and now uh, once when you have set those the easiest way that you could make these motors move is to configure them to a joystick so to configure them to a joystick well this is the simple line of code that you have to remember just um, click on motor so oops see so click on here and say let's just say motor um, and then click some bracket and I'm gonna set this as equal to the channel channel and and let's just set this as two so for example what I'm trying to say here is that if you have a motor and 
the it could be any motor so for example if i say motor and under this bracket i'm gonna have it as say port 2 port 2 would be the motor that i have connected to my left and so if i have a a joystick near me so this would be a, a typical vex joystick and if you look at it there's labeling here one two three four and so on seven and eight and you even have markings here saying u d uh, u r l f and d and and so um what basically these things refer to is channels so what um so when you're trying to configure, say, a movement of the motor to one of these buttons, you would click it as, say, for example, if I have a channel 2 and I want my motors to, uh, if, I, if I press this toggle, I want my motor, my right side of the motor to move forward. And if I click down, I want my right motor to move backwards and so on for the, the other channel 3, which is here. So that would be a typical ergonomic way to do it. And, and what do I mean is say, for example, port 2, I want it to be set up to channel 3 because channel 3 is the one that I've, uh, that I wanted to, you know, press my, and it moves forward and backwards. So if, for example, that's going to be my case. I'm going to set it to channel 3 and also, uh, add a semicolon and, and also I'm going to use that same method to set it up for my, set it up for my for my right motor so that's going to be the same thing and i'm going to set it to channel 2 so if you have uh, if you have set this and the the joystick that you're going to use is going to be configured so what do i mean is if you have a joystick that's like that's going to look like this if you're going to press 2 uh, the channel to which is basically uh, the toggle that goes up and down if you do that your right uh, motors of the right side motors of the chassis it's going to move forward and backward so that way you can control how the robot is going to turn and also if you have a joystick that says three and when you press this toggle up and down your motors it's going to be on the left side of your chassis it is going to be moving forward and downward and if you use this uh, both these joysticks simultaneously they're going to turn or uh, they're going to move forward and backward so that's the basic movement of a joystick and i have a sample program here so if you look at it sensor demo i have configured for a claw bot so for a claw bot, I have, I have configured my motor, say for example, my port 1 and 10, if I go to some standard models, um, port 1 is going to be for my left motor, port 10 is going to be for my right motor, and port 6 claw and 7 is for arm motor. So uh, that's the standard VEX configuration that I'm doing this for demonstration. So port 1, I, I'm set it to channel 2, which is this joystick over here, channel 2 and 3. And also for for this program, however, there is a different way to set your arms. For example, if I have a claw board that has an arms that I want it to move up and down. So, for example, to 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 accomplish that, all you have to do is if I press this remote control for button eight U. So. For those of you who might have not really known programming or or um, or robot C generally, when you want to set, say for example, remote controls operate on the basis of a switch. So for example, those of you who might have known a switch, it's it's going to be either a, a one or a zero. So one, if you press one, it's going to be it's going to it's going to connect that circuit. If it's going to be zero, it's going to deactivate that circuit so one is going to be when if you press that button it's going to activate that movement if you don't press that button which is in this case zero it's not going to activate that uh, that motor so in that case if you want um, if you want your robot's arm to move up all you have to do is press 8u so when you press 8u my arms are going to go up if you press 8d arms are going to go down and same for the claw motors and before each and everything remember to always add this else statement because else statements are very important and without them your motors are going to spin forever they're not going to stop so have a else statement at the bottom saying 
for example, if I don't click that button, if I if I if I don't click that button at all, my motors are gonna stall. They are gonna not move. So, for example, add this else statement here, and same goes for the claw motor. So, if you so if for those of you uh, thinking what I'm explaining here, I'm explaining a claw bot. So, a claw bot for Vex. So, if you look at this. This is a typical claw bot. So this is the arms that I'm referring to. This is the chassis that I have, and this would be the claw. You know, the claw that um, that you know. This is a robot that you can make out of the standard kit that Vex gives to everyone. So this is the the claw that I'm referring to. So if you look at Vex here, if button U, if if seven U is going to be pressed, which in this case is going to be my joystick, if seven U is going to be pressed. This claw is going to close. So, for example, if I press 7U, my claws are gonna uh, gonna clinch together. And if I press 7D, which is uh, which is 7D is going to be here, my claws are gonna release whatever it's it's having. So it's gonna it's gonna uh, open its 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 claws. So that's that's uh, the the program for a claw motor and an arm motor. And also for, for those of you who might be interested in the other side of the joystick, the front side, this is how it looks like. So this would be 6U and D. And these buttons are actually very helpful if you're going to have more functions to your robot. For example, controlling uh, not just arms and claws, but maybe, you know, even having um, uh, having uh, extra extra set of uh, parts say for example hanging your robot or making it uh, move in some other direction you could use these type of uh, buttons six five and also the ones over here so there's plenty of control that vex gives you to uh, operate your robot and also if you're interested if you're interested for example in vex vex gives you uh, Vex gives you an extra set of uh, joystick called the partner joystick. So, for example, partner joystick. If I could search it up real quick, Vex. If you look at this, this is basically the the partner joystick movement that people might have had. Um, and if you look at this, this is the primary controller and this is the secondary one. And remember to have these joysticks connected together. And also, if you want to accomplish this, my my advice would be, uh, you know, to to have this connected. And also, if you look at the cortex that I'm going to show you. Under this cortex, um, I learned that if you connect to, say, digital under here, if you connect it to port 11, uh, which is here in this case, if you uh, connect a, what do I mean, is a jumper, sorry, mind me, if you connect a jumper to port 11 in under a digital sensor setup, you are essentially you're gonna you be able to use your partner control and in this case uh well you know you could set your partner partner control very simply by saying for example i want my motor uh port let's just say port um i have an imaginary motor that's going to be connected to a port uh three and port three is going to be under the secondary control so my partner is going to be controlling that particular motor so what i'm meaning is if i say rt and i'm gonna add a parenthesis i'm gonna say uh it's gonna be channel channel one and if you see vex actually gives you robot c actually gives you this so for example channel one one x empty r2 so if you click empty r2 it's going to set uh, uh, like x empty empty r2 this is going to be the secondary uh, controller for your uh, vex drive chassis so for example if i have a competition where i want my uh, where i want to control this joystick and my partner can control this joystick from over here when he presses uh, say one uh, when he press the toggle for one uh, to the left and right is going to control the motor that I have connected to port 3. So you would have um, learned how to configure the joystick and your motors. Thank you and goodbye.